that journey today is the most significant yet. Over the next hour, we are going to unveil some new heroes for you. For us, these are not just new product launches. These are the vehicles of an exciting journey of the new hero. So without any delay, let me invite my colleague Malo Lomachon, who heads up our global product planning, to start the proceedings. Malo, please. Thank you, Bharatendu. I think you scared everyone by saying over the next hours. Okay, we will try to make it a bit shorter. Okay, 55 minutes. <laughs> ah, it's, okay, then, then that's okay. But then they want more time. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, quite a busy agenda, but at the same time, I think it's important that you understand what, uh, what Euro was up to and what actually we're trying to achieve today. So it's start to understand the segment we are operating in and uh, where actually we want to enter with those models. So the, what we call here in India the premium segment above, above 150 cc um, is more than 3 million bikes at the end of this fiscal year that just ended. But it's also a segment which has seen tremendous growth. You're talking about 15% year on year, the fastest growth actually in the motorcycle segment. And when we look at that, a very important point is actually 70% of uh, those people are actually looking at models, products below one lakh extra room. So this is looking at all this, uh, I would say, category of people that we try to understand what were their needs and their main needs. We address. at ECMA in 2017, some of you may remember. And then about a year after, we unveiled the second part of the puzzle, which was the Xpulse 200 t for the touring purpose. So the Xpulse as a family is really about models, products, which are for people that want to make new tracks. And whether it's new tracks on any roads, on all roads, with the Xpulse 200 t or actually for the people that want to go beyond when there is no more roads. And if we focus on the Xpulse 200T, I'll, I'll summarize it really for people that are looking for a limitless journey, that want to drive around across the city, across the country, with no fatigue. So we, we came up with this very simple concept that we can summarize in two keywords. We wanted it to be a modern tourer. Modern means latest technology, be it on LED lightning or anything, we will explain later. At the same time, Tourer, a bike which is easily accessible by anyone, which is extremely intuitive to drive and offers you a relaxed driving experience. You go back to the essence of, of riding. And adding basically just a touch of retro flavor because it looks good. So for that, Marcus will explain you how we did achieve that. Marcus, if you can come up the stage. Thanks, Molo. Yes, good afternoon from my side as well. As um, a few of you, and this is the difficulty, have already experienced the x -Pulse and the x -Pulse T the last two days uh, in Bangalore. So we need to find the right mixture. But getting into uh, the 200 T, it's made for the road. It's made for any road. Uh, and road means, is it on the highway? Is it in the city? And is it? within an outfit that is classical, but combines modern elements as well. So from, from that perspective, it was important for us to create, let's say, its own stance, its own look, and its own appearance. On the elements, to make it really a comfortable bike, there are three, four key elements. One, it starts with the sitting position, with the ergonomic triangle. The wide handlebar, the reachability means the low seat height. And here we do talk about um, 795 millimeters, which is really a word. 
that gives you stability in any condition, comfortable seat, and 17 front inch wheels, which gives, besides the comfort, the stability, the maneuverability, and the intuitive handling of the bike. Not really fighting the bike into the corner, it's, it's easy going. Convenience. A, a big ticket for us, is it on the short trip in the city or is it on the longer trip? The USB charger on board, I would not even say a standard, but it's, it's a great feature to have. We will come back to an additional feature where, where this really makes, makes double sense. And even for pillion riding, as well as carrying load wherever required to be easily strapped on. Technology-wise, so the x range will be the first range where we get straight into LED front light, which gives its own distinct design, as well as the bright light that will allow you to be seen and to see in any condition. And on the technology front as well, first time that we do offer a combination of a complete full LCD display and Bluetooth pairing of your mobile phone. Means this is our own app. You connect your cell phone with the speedometer through Google Navigation, you choose the destination, and once you get started, you have on the right-hand side of the speedometer your own screen that shows you turn-by-turn -turn navigation and the distance to the, to the destination. Call alert is another feature, means you receive a phone call, you get it indicated. Service reminder and a gear indicator are additional features that get combined in this LCD speedometer. It's not just about plastic style, it's about modern look as well. So a quite modern color set completes the whole appearance of this modern classic looking bike that many of you experienced yesterday already. The handling, the stability, the really intuitive riding without stress. Is it short distance in the city or is it on a longer weekend, weekend stretch or weekend travel? Chapter number two. Thank you, Marcus. So we said the x is about people for the last two days. Actually, when there is no more roads, there is more fun. So the Xpulse 200 is based, of course, of a legacy of the Impulse from 2011. So we look at all the different elements, the ingredients of this bike, and try to improve it, address some of the issues that we had at that time, and come back with a redefining product for the category. So when we say go beyond, go across, across countries, across roads, so the, the difficulty with this model is actually each time you're looking at a, at a duality almost in opposition. We want a bike which goes across terrain, so which means which can do, of course, adventure riding, be it on the sand, the rocks, the dirt. And at the same time, we want a bike which is able to bring us to our office in the morning, do uh, the daily commute. Second aspect was we wanted a bike that go across riders. People that actually just start, with an X-Pulse, people don't have a good riding capability, be it on road or even off roads. Uh, for them, a seat access is very important. Uh, the intuitivity of, of uh, let's say, the way the bike handles and behaves is important. And at the same time, a bike which is able to cater also the more experienced audience. The people that will actually push it, let's say, to the last meter, talking about height. So the people that actually would go to the Leila Dak or even more maybe at some point venture into rally riding. So we wanted a bike that actually captured those two audiences into one product. And finally, what we call a cross-generation is it's as much a bike for the millennial that actually can plug their mobile phone, Bluetooth tethering, and 
lot of functionality that Marcus will introduce. But at the same time, it was a bike that should be just as easy and as intuitive as any adventure bike, where you just take your backpack, your tent, you carry it around, you tie it, and just you just go. That is the story of the Explorers 200s. That I'll ask Marcus to explain you how did we make these two opposites into one technical package. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I have to say, already, already at the ICMA, we had one driving scheme, and the scheme was putting all our experience coming from the impulse, putting all the experience over the last three years from really successful international rally racing, and um, not even two months ago, um, we, we made our first international podium at the Masuga Rally, which is really amazing after three years only. So put all, all these learnings into, into a product where we are deeply convinced that this should be a suitable for each and every purpose bike. And what was driving us in terms of a, of a theme is the Army Swiss knife that provides you the tools that you need in any, in any situation. What are the ingredients that makes the x pulse let's say, reaching any point? Is it within the city? And uh, in Bangalore, we had a nice discussion. Who has ever experienced the Gogao traffic knows what it means to reach to the front of the traffic light. You have three, 400 meters of traffic jam. You have to go away from the road. You have to go some meters off road and then you're back on the traffic light or you hit the speed bumper or all this. So I do not talk about adventure outdoor. I do talk about adventure even in the cities. And what are the ingredients? And I can really tell you it took us some time but we have got all the inputs that were required and no doubt one of, let's say, the big examples and the big pilots in this country is Siet Santosh and he was, he was really part of the team, of the development team. So the ingredients, no doubt, it's our robust torque-oriented 200cc engine, air-cooled and really a flat torque level that provides you in any riding condition power no doubt, we do not talk about a high performance engine, but with 18.4 horsepower, it's very well equipped. Um, and then coming to the off-road ingredients that make it going through each and every uh, condition. It's the high-mounted muffler. So no muffler will hit the ground wherever the ground is. Here you can see um, a picture that already gives a an, an, an glance of how stable and how well balanced the bike is so that really once you drop it hard you have a big obstacle it really balances quite well into the front and the, and, and the rear uh, 21 inch wheel adds stability adds capability in rough terrain even adds capability over a speed breaker um, and still gives in loose ground stability. Um, the travel that we could provide, uh, 190 millimeter on the front, 170 at the rear, is quite, is quite impressive. But even more impressive is it that we could combine it with a low seat height. So it has to be on one side accessible for the customer and on the other side, in any riding condition, you have to be able to put the feet on the ground to balance yourself. And it's 25 millimeters is more or less on the commuter on the commuter front, so will not put stress on, on any rider. Along with the 21 inch front wheel and the big travel uh, and the low seat height, in addition, uh, we have 220 millimeters of ground clearance. And I think this makes this whole package really, really a, a good one. Low seat height, long wheel travel, 21 inch front wheel and a good ground clearance. So this makes the bike really accessing to any road condition and the ones who have been riding at Big Rock, um, you have seen in the background the Big, the big Rock, the huge mountain. Uh, we have been climbing there maybe three months ago together with Sir Santosh with various bikes 
and to see the climbing capability, the, the really deep, deep um, rock capability to get over any obstacle with this bike is, is, really, is really amazing. And the ones who have been riding, even I had a close conversation with Sir Santos yesterday, he said it was amazing how the, how the colleagues, how the people who were riding over the time gained confidence and upgraded really their capability, getting confidence in the bike. So with all these off-road capabilities, I think we have, we have created a very good package. Um, a few additional specs um, make sense. The footrest, if you go into rough terrain, you need the grip. You need the grip. This is why we have removable uh, rubbers. So if you go on the, on the long tour, in terms of even, even uh, vibration reduction, more comfort, you put the rubber on, you take it off once it gets really tough and dirty. Um, with the rear plate, again, loading weight, loading equipment, and have it easy, easy hooked on. This makes the x 200, from our perspective, an amalgamation of, let's say, a motorcycle who we are convinced hits a space, especially here in India. Is it within the city? Is it outside the city? Is it on a longer tour? Or once it gets really rough to get you to any point, ETA, what we do think, as well as a very attractive price point. Because in the end, we want to offer something that helps mobilizing the masses. And that it's not, uh, let's say, 0.01 percentage of motorcycle enthusiasts that are able to, to afford this. Technology, as we do talk about really a twin, um, the LCD tail light, the LCD front light, as well as the navigation capability with the LCD speedometer. This more or less covers the whole the whole topic, the whole Express 200T, with some interesting colors uh, on the modern front, FI variant, and on the a little bit more classical front, our cup variants. Gets you anywhere. Not always maybe in that good style, but this is uh, something very special as well, I have to say. Uh, by the way, um, from Sir Santos, he appreciated a lot your presence the last two days. Uh, the team has been doing a wonderful job in Bangalore at Big Rock, and uh, he really loved to host you all and to bring you closer into off-road enduro and, and off-road capabilities and off-road racing together with us as a Hero Motorsports Team Rally. So here we are, the Expulse 200 and Expulse 200T. However, that's not all. That's a bit of a pleasant surprise in store for you. Without any delay, Malo, would you do the honors, please? Yes. When we started to talk about the segments, um, I put this very uh, fancy and ugly chart that explain how actually we look at the, at the markets. And once again, today we're launching the Expulse family, uh, as we just explained. Uh, but there is still one segment which is left untouched. One segment which is in the middle, whereby there are needs. Uh, there's been some offers, and actually uh, a segment that we know quite well. This is what we call the sport segment, the, where the motorcycle with a, a fairing. And that's the story of today. That explain you that actually now, the third model that we're going to introduce is to complement the strategy. We wanted to have a strategy that we call the horizontal strategy. We didn't want it for this category of motorcycle to come with a product every 10 centimeter, centimeter cube. Yeah? So we wanted to have a product which caters across, which shows actually the capability of our engineering to make a platform which is versatile enough to cater so different needs, a vast array of needs, of usage, of consumer. And this is what we're unveiling today, is what I call the S-story, the sport segment. The sport segment is a segment that we know at Euro because 
similar to the x -Pulse, we actually pioneered it with the Charisma back in 2003. And this segment has seen tremendous growth. When we looked at it, we thought, okay, this is not something that we can left backend. And we wanted two major ingredients in it. One, this category is about style, whatever you do. And we've made sure that this model is going to have an unmistakable presence, where you make a statement just by parking your vehicle. The second point is we want also to have substance, not just style for the sake of it, but also a vehicle which is packed with technology. You've seen some of it. You'll see a bit more for that. So without further ado, let me introduce you what we call the power of presence. Rajat? usage of consumer. And this is what we're unveiling today, is what I call the S story, the sports segment. The sports segment is a segment that we know at Hero because similar to the x -Pulse, we actually pioneered it with the Charisma back in 2003. And this segment has seen tremendous growth. When we looked at it, we thought, okay, this is not something that we can left vacant. And we wanted two major ingredients in it. One, this category is about style, whatever you do. And we've made sure that this model is going to have an unmistakable presence, where you make a statement just by parking your vehicle. The second point is we want also to have substance, not just style for the sake of it, in the premium segment here in India, which we are really proud of. Why? Because it offers us getting back into a category that Hero has really entered into, brought India into, and secondly, allows us to do the next step in terms of styling design. And the story of our, let's say, entering back into the premium segment started with the 200, with the Xtreme 200R. And now we close the cycle with the 200S. What was the main driver? The main driver was to have a motorcycle that is still usable on the standard commute, on a day-by-day -day activity. And on the other side, really to allow a presence that does not add any additional fat to the muscle. So the overall design theme was really keeping a slim body, keeping a, a well-trained body. And this was the driving force behind. Technology like the, the LCD front light, um, we are rolling out. And it has, for sure, a quite passing presence. Because in the end, the indication and the visibility and the identification has its own has its own signature. The digital speedometer, as well as the engine kill switch, are all, let's say, part of the features and the technology package. The slim tail, the LCD tail light, the LED tail light, as well as 
how really tight we keep the fairing was one of the main drivers behind this motorcycle. Capability. It's not a race bike, but it's a sporty bike that still offers a comfortable riding position, that offers a great handling, that offers a great braking stability, which all you will be able to explore later on. Talking about stopping capability, this is not what it's meant for, but you will see basis, the stable front and the braking performance, it really stops basis the ABS system in a way that gives really the rider the confidence in any situation. Colors, modern, on the other side, accessible and understandable because this is not a bike that we only want to sell to enthusiasts. This is for people who want really to have a sporty bike, take it for every day's journey, and to experience it, to have fun with it the whole day. The engine is our 200cc engine, modified in terms of the, the weight and the performance of the bike in terms of of the gear setting, but it's all overall robust, torque oriented, not too performance oriented, but very robust, very torque oriented in every riding condition, giving the rider the power that he requires. This is our Extreme 200S, which you will have today the pleasure to ride it on the track. This is why we expanded this session quite a while so that you can cool down, cool off, before it's getting really hot out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. So, not one, not two, but three new heroes right in front of you. Having said that, you all must be wondering, how about the price points? My colleague, Sanjay Bhan, who heads up sales and after sales, Sanjay, would you make the big announcement, please? The pleasure. Good afternoon to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome, uh, like Bartendu mentioned, to this wonderful weather of Delhi. So for those of you who are not very familiar, these are just normal times for us in summers. Great, I think the most pleasant job of the evening, thanks to Malu and Marcus who have done a fantastic presentation, and thank you guys for bringing these new wonderful heroes and uh, unveiling them here today. Uh, but perhaps the most, like I said, the most... Uh, fun part is the, is the part that I'm going to be doing now, so thanks for leaving it to me. So what I'll do here is I'll cut to the chase. I think this is something that you've been waiting for. Uh, first of all, I'll, let me just tell you that the three heroes that you're seeing standing here uh, would be out in the market not very long from now. We're starting and commencing our dispatches in about a week, 10 days time. Hopefully by the end of May, we would have covered most of our network and that's when we'll start commercially selling these. Uh, you still want to know the price? There you go. The price for the FI variant of the Expulse 200 is 105, uh, a lakh and 5,000, but the base starts from 97,000. For the X3, uh, Expulse 200T, the X showroom price is 94,000. These are all X showroom prices daily that I'm uh, speaking about. And finally, and finally, 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 the stunning Extreme 200S is at a price point of 98,500. No wonder Malo was trying to tell you all that 70% of our consumers who are buying premium bikes, more than 150cc, buy bikes that are less than a lakh of rupees. So there you go. 
This fantastic range is now overwhelmingly complete. We've covered almost all, like Malo was expressing, almost all sectors and segments of this category. And hopefully, uh, we will excite a lot of young people to come and embrace the new heroes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for all your attention. Okay. Sanjay, uh, yeah. I would request you to stay on the stage, please, and request Malo and Marcus to join us for a quick photo op, which will be followed by the question and answers. I will ask, may I request Mr. Niranjan Gupta, who is our Chief Financial Officer, also to join us on stage, please. Yeah, because he has to pay the bill here. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you, Thank I, I, you. I request uh, Malo, Marcus and Sanjay to stay on for the Q&A.